this is Dr. Hourglass and welcome to another video in our channel Wonder Breast. Today we're going to discuss how breast surgery is performed. In this channel we discuss everything related to breast surgery. Welcome back. Cosmetic breast surgery is like all other procedures except that the goal of the operation differs in the technical peculiarities and outcome. Thus, the surgery includes the following step, the preoperative stage, the actual operation, and the postoperative follow-up. So what happened during the preoperative stage? This stage is marked by the development of the operative plan which includes the psychological, emotional, and health preparation of the patient. During the consultation with the plastic surgeon, the patient should clearly communicate their needs, preferences, and expectations. Taking that into consideration, the surgeon will also need to evaluate the physical condition of the patient in order to deem which techniques are appropriate for the patient. Aside from that, the patient will also learn the advantages, disadvantages, and limitations of the intervention during the pre-op in order to prepare the patient for the surgery. This can also prevent the patient from being disappointed with the results. As we always say, an informed patient is a patient prepared for surgery. In addition, preoperative preparation must include the patient health examination, which shall be completed no later than 48 hours before the procedure. Like all surgical procedures, patients must refrain from taking any anti-inflammatory medication for at least 15 days before the surgery. And for smoker, they have to refrain from smoking for at least a month before and after the surgery as it can hinder the healing process. As for the anesthesia, whether local or general, this will highly depend on the complexity of the intervention and the technique used. So what press surgery intervention can be performed under local anesthesia? Minor surgical procedures can be performed under local anesthesia. For aesthetic breast surgery, only the procedures used for correcting a small imperfection in the areola or nipples, like asymmetric nipples, can be performed under local anesthesia. This surgery is an outpatient procedure wherein the patient can be discharged a few hours after the procedure. This ambulatory intervention has the advantage of allowing patients to resume their daily activities after about 48 hours of rest. So what are the interventions that require a general anesthetic? Normally, a cosmetic breast surgery is performed under general anesthesia, which can take one to two four, to four hours depending on the complexity of the procedure. Now, what happens after breast surgery is performed? After the surgery, the patient will be required to wear dressings or a compression girdle in order to minimize the swelling and support the new breast. Basically, the use of the compression girdles are essential to achieve a satisfactory result after breast surgery. Provided that everything goes smoothly, the patient should be able to return to work within the first week after the procedure. However, this can also depend on the type of job you have. If it requires a lot of physical effort, then it might take a while longer. Keep in mind that strict adherence to the surgeon recommendation is imperative for your recovery. Proper post-operative care can ensure a speedy recovery. In this video, we discuss how breast surgery is performed. Next week, we will discuss breast lift for new mothers. Remember to comment below, share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more information here at the Wonder Breast channel only on YouTube. If you have a question, please post it below, and we'll be happy to answer it. Maybe we will make a video about it. Remember to log on to our Hourglass TV for more information about your surgical procedures. On Monday, we have Booty Man for everything related to buttock enhancement procedures. Tuesdays, Wonder Breast, where we discuss topics related to cosmetic breast surgery. Wednesdays, we have Star Bodies. If you want to have a star body, log on to our Hourglass TV. Thursdays, Hourglass Operating Room, where you're going to see me doing light surgeries with before and after pictures. Also, Shoddy, where we discuss cases that require cosmetic surgical revision. 
and Friday Super Hourglass for topics related to have that hourglass figure that you want. And finally, live broadcast surgeries every day of the week on Facebook Live, Periscope, and Snapchat. All this and more in the Hourglass TV.